Hi everyone, welcome to the Lilac Room. Lilac here. All right, what we're gonna do right now is a um, Reiki infused love reading for February 2022. Why? Why am I doing this? Well, my favorite holiday is in February and it is Valentine's Day. Why do I love Valentine's Day so much? Well, because I love love. I'm a Leo, I have a Leo, Venus and Leo. Um, and there are many of you out there who are thinking about love, wondering about love. So we're gonna do a Reiki infused love reading today. Basically gonna throw a Celtic cross, see what's going on in your love life. Apply it to your situation. It is gonna be general for everybody. We're drinking red wine. Mm. Delicious. Okay. <clears throat> What's going on for everybody's love life? I mean, everybody's going to be in a different situation, but I don't know if you guys realize it yet, if it's come to your conscious awareness, but we're all in the same boat. Always. All of us. At the same time. Exactly together. So let's see. If I talk about a couple, but you're not in a couple, apply it to your situation. If I talk about finding new love, but you're with the same person for a long time and you're still happy with them and you guys are just going into like a new place in your love life, apply it to that. You follow? First card out, Ace of Pentacles. Something new, something beautiful, something prosperous, something fulfilling, something enriching is happening. Um, for some of you, this could be going away on a romantic getaway, a retreat, some, some sort of um, reconnecting is happening. And for some of you, it could be an actual new love. The challenge is the Page of Wands. Um... When it comes to reconnecting with with love, you know, it can be hard if you've let some distance grow between you. Getting the feeling like that's that's true for some couples. And also, if you're um, new at this, it could be like finding the right way to impress your new um, love interest. Maybe you're um, trying to think of creative ways to do things. And other for others still, like if you're getting engaged, you're trying to think of the right way to present your wishes and hopes for your relationship for the future and that's what's on your mind and that's why this page of wands is here <clears throat> past influences um six of swords reversed three of wands reversed not having a clear idea of what you wanted to create not knowing how you could um infuse this relationship with the two of you that six of swords in reverse Losing control is the key, I think, to having this new beginning in love. You know, stop trying to control the situation. Strength in reverse is the opposite of strength. Strength is about knowing all the answers, having the right uh, feeling of control in a situation. But when strength shows up in reverse, it's telling me that it's important to let go of that need to control outcomes, let go of that need to win at all costs, let go of, let go of needing to stronghold somebody. And I, I feel like for, for a lot of people, I think it's important to recognize that when we suppress our lover, our person that we're in, involved with or in love with, we actually... We're actually forcing them to change. And that change may or may not lead to them feeling closer to us. If it leads to them feeling closer to us, you have to ask the question, did I make them feel a certain thing? Or did they willingly give their heart to me? Did they willingly agree to do this thing with me? Are they? Do they really want the real person that I am? Yeah, it's time to let go of judgments. I'm getting judgment in reverse and the emperor. Interesting message. Interesting, um, why do I want to say power animal? The emperor represents a power struggle or a person who has too much power in the relationship, an imbalance perhaps in the um, connection where one person has too much of 
the control. There's a lot of issues with control here. I think jealousy is a factor in some people's love lives. Two of Wands. Eight of Pentacles reversed. Page of Pentacles reversed. Six of Cups reversed. Um, there, there's definitely uh, a movement happening where some people are letting go of past love relationships. They're searching for something new, more, more meaningful with more opportunities. Hopeful that, I think, unfortunately, I think a lot of people coming into um, February 2022 are partnered with the wrong people. And because of that, there's something they're longing for. That's for the people who are in a relationship because if you're just starting a relationship, that's not gonna apply to you. But there is a fear that this won't work out. <laughs> All right, Knight of Cups in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse. So I feel like, um, I feel like this message is really for the men who are trying to find love or kind of like solidify love or secure love. I feel like you need to cast that emperor energy away and stop trying to be the emperor. Let yourselves allow judgment in reverse to come in. In other words, don't judge, don't criticize, don't restrict the person that you want to be with. Don't impose rules upon them. See what it is they want. They want you to stop talking and stop controlling, guys. Come on. What's going on, dudes? We need to talk about this. We need to talk about men being in control. What about my ladies? You know, it seems like some of the women out there are feeling like the guys are missing their signals. They're missing the boat. They're missing the big picture. They're missing what is being actually told to them and shown to them by, by the women that they love. These women want action. They want to not, not feel like they're in competition for your attention. They want marriage in some cases, a lot of cases. They want the bickering to stop. They want you to allow their feminine energy to come forth and let there be a stronger sense of balance. So guys, what in the, okay, the sun, the devil in reverse. Preach it, man. The magician. Yes, you go, my sisters. The six of pentacles reversed. <sighs> There's a battle waging war against the divine masculine here. So for the divine masculines, you guys are getting massacred as we speak. Like what? What's happening? What's happening here? The divine feminine are growing, they're gaining in their confidence, they're gaining um, a sense of self, a sense of um, certainty about what they want, and they are asserting that, okay? So what does this mean for everybody together? Like, what, what does it mean for gay couples? What does it mean for polyamorous lovers, love triangles? What does it mean for long-term marriages? What does it mean for new relationships? Let's find out. Four of Pentacles reverse. Again, you know, being willing to take risks, okay? Putting putting some past shit behind you. You know, like I wanna say forget things. Like be willing to forget. Like, you know how they say forgive and forget? Be willing to actually forget and move forward. Like don't completely change who you are. I'm just saying reward yourselves for acknowledging what's good and be okay with that. You don't have to be so macho, couples. I'm speaking to the couples, not just the men. Because if you can do that, this fool is yours for the taking, this new fresh start. Whether it's a new relationship or an old relationship, does not matter. 
for those of you where this is an existing relationship that just needs a refresher, needs like a reboot, um, you will establish new goals and new dreams together. You will actually create um, a brighter future with each other. <clears throat> now let's find out for single people who's coming in. Lots of options. And love. Two of Cups. For those of you who are not as familiar with tarot cards, the Two of Cups is the best card that you can get when looking for love. It means that you are finding your counterpart in another person. You're looking at them and you're seeing a reflection of yourself. Or at least someone that you can connect with. Someone who wants the same things that you want. And for those who do take that dive into that love scenario that I just described with the Two of Cups, the masculines, the male or the men, whatever you want to call it, are putting aside their pride. They're being humble. They're being eager to please the feminine. They're finding a way to make it a success for everybody involved. They're launching into a relationship that's going to last for a long time. It looks really good for singles. It looks really, really good for singles in love for the month of February. Understand that the month of February is just a springboard of what's going to happen for the rest of the year. This is just the beginning of, of the energy that's going to pick up in February and coast through for quite some time to come. This is a new, you know, Venus... This is a new um, transit of Venus. There, this is a new start for many people, okay? Some of you are not going to have a fresh start. Some of you don't want it or you're not looking at it or you're looking away from it. But my bet is if you're one of those people, you're not listening to this video anyway. So if you are and you want a new start in love, this month it will happen. And when I say this month, I don't mean by Valentine's Day. I mean, it's going to take the next several weeks. Mercury is still retrograding. Many large planets like Venus, like Jupiter, are still retrograding. They're still trying to get themselves back on track as it is. Okay? Plus, we have a new moon coming up in two days. A lot of emotional energy happening. So this is not going to happen right away. What I'm talking about is something you're going to see by the end of February starting to take root. And it's going to carry you through for the rest of the year. So when we talk about love in March, in April, in May, in June, in July, in August, we're going to be talking about this storyline, the one that's starting right here today. All right. So um, listen back to what I said, you know, for couples, for singles, for love, love in general, and um, consider where that where that lands for you and your life and then also check out my uh, monthly videos because I'm posting the February videos today as we speak thanks for tuning in guys this is lilac broom if you want a private reading I'm gonna leave the contact information below the video cheers <laughs>